Hello, thanks for stopping by to watch this video. How to make a working custom Fall Guys character. I'm not talking about concept art or thumbnails. I'm going to show you from start to finish how to create your own skin you can actually use while playing Fall Guys on your PC. I posted my first ever tutorial video a couple of weeks ago showing how to get files out of the game to work with. Now, this is only my second tutorial video, so if I stumble along the way, you'll have to bear with me. Now it's actually taken me four takes to get this sounding as it is already. I've only been working with Blender and game files for about six months and still have lots to learn. But I wanted to let everyone know you don't need to be an expert to do this. There are a few pointers to start with though. Number one, I'm assuming you have a little knowledge in using Blender and Photoshop. Don't need to be an expert, just be familiar with using them and importing and so on. Now you might be able to use something other than Photoshop but I can only give you a tutorial on what I've used myself. Two, in the description, you'll find links to a couple of programs, Asset Studio, Unity X, and the Nvidia DDS plugin for Photoshop. You'll need to download and unzip these files to use them to create your characters. Three, while this does require you mod game files, I don't consider it a cheat or hack or any advantage in the game. It only affects what you see on your screen not what other people see on theirs, so it's for novelty value only, or to make video content that's unique to you. I don't use cheats in the game, and don't think you should either. To start with, we want to know where your game files are. To do that, open up Steam, and in the library, right click on Fall Guys. In the menu under Manage, it will bring up Browse Local Files, and you click on that to open up a folder with the game contents. The file path is shown above, and for most people will be on the C drive. As mine is full, I have the game installed on my D drive. Make a note or remember where this is, as you'll need it in a second. Now open up Asset Studio. The file with the suffix .exe and the AS logo is the one you want. Select Load File, then follow the path of Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Fall Guys, Fall Guys Client Data, then scroll down to the folder Shared Assets 0.assets. Underneath it is a Shared Assets 0.assets.res, but we don't want that one. Click on the Assets list, and you'll see the assets in the game all sorted by type. What we're interested in is the Texture 2D files and the Mesh files. The Mesh being the shape and structure of the different skins, and the Texture being the colours applied to them. There are two ways to customise your bean. One is the two-tone patterns used on the plain bean with different colour combos. These use texture files with the suffix msk, probably for mask. Click on one and you'll see there are just two colours used, normally in a repeating pattern. While simpler, it does allow for adding letters or logos in any position you choose, as this texture is applied as a single piece over the bean. The other option is where you change the colours of the added on upper or lower outfits. On the upside, this lets you use any colour you choose, including gradients or even images. However, this texture is applied as a mirror image on the bean. Any logos, shapes or writing will appear twice on the final product, one side readable and the other side reversed. With these files, some have the suffix AM, which is the basic image, the one that we want, while MM is for metallic, which can be used for some special effects. There is a team variant, which obviously changes for team games, while some skins have a standard version name and a variant version name. Confusingly, the one labelled variant is the default in the game. We're doing this step to find the file name for whichever skin you want to customise, as it gives you a preview of them on screen. Some don't have the same name in the game files as in the game. You can also type a name into the filter bar for it to narrow your search. For this video, I'll do a quick mod to the cactus skin. The basic principle used for these mods is to extract an image from the game files, customise it and then save it back into the game in a form where it will still run in the game. We extract the mesh so in Blender we can see how our custom skin will look before saving the final version. Asset Studio is used as an easy way to find what we want to work with, while Unity EX is used for the export and import. In the files, the CH prefix is for character, LW being the lower part, and the UP being upper. Before we export these, it's best to go into Options, then in Export Options, change the scale factor value from 1 to 5. 
otherwise your model will appear in Blender as a very small size. Having highlighted these parts of the cactus, we then right click to export selected assets. In the next window, select the folder you want them exported to. I've previously made a folder on my desktop called Fall Guys Test. You'll also want to export the file called Body in the same way, which is the basic bean body. Now, using the File Explorer, open up the file path of the game up until the Fall Guys client art level. Then move it aside and open up Unity EX. Click on Open Archive, then use the drop down to select the Shared Assets Zero folder in the game files and open. Like Asset Studio, it presents all the assets available for export but without a visual preview. Type in the search field the skin you want to use, in my case Cactus, and then click item select. This will select image, mesh and other files that all have the Cactus name in them. They are spread out amongst the files, so don't worry if you only see one, as it will have selected any it found. Right click and then select export with convert. It often brings up an error message, but clicking OK gets rid of it, and it seems to work reliably, so I'm not sure what the problem is. Minimise that window, don't close it, and in the window you'd previously opened, you will now see a new folder, Unity Asset Files. Open it past Shared Asset 0 and Textures to Res Shared Asset 0. In this you'll find the texture files we just exported in a gaming DDS format. If you remember what I said earlier, we'll want the file of the cactus variant with the AM suffix. And there it is, as long as you've installed the plugin mentioned in the comments or another that does the same thing. Now open up Blender and import the OBJ files of your bean. In object mode, highlight both top and bottom parts by using shift and select, then join by hitting Ctrl and J. Minimise it for now, and then go back to your Photoshop screen. I'll quickly make a few changes just for the sake of the exercise, turning the cactus into something more like a boiled Christmas candy. Give it a new name and save it in PDS format in your test folder. That way, when you flick back to Blender, you know where to look for it to apply it to your character to see how it looks. Different meshes are laid out differently, it can help to click on UV editing to get a better picture of where everything is laid out on your character when doing more intricate designs. Now back in your Photoshop screen, open up the original DDS file we had before, alongside your modified version. Pay attention now as this is where the magic happened. Go to your custom, select all and then copy. Then go to the original and paste this over the top. We now go to save this file, but it's very important that you change the file type to DDS and then hit save, not save as, and save this new file over the top of the old, with its original name in the res shared asset zero folder. It will ask if you want to replace the file, and the answer is yes! In the options for DDS files, you want to select BC1, which is the same as the DXT1 format of the original. Once saved, go back to a Unity EX screen, which if you haven't clicked on anything else, should still have the same items selected. Then hit Import Files. If you did bump something, you can just search and select the files as you did earlier, before clicking on Import Files. Once the green bar is done, you're good to go. So let's open up the game and have a look. I'll fast forward through the loading process, but show you some gameplay to prove that it's not an editing trick or anything. As a side note, if anyone else was wearing the cactus skin, they would appear on my screen in my custom colours as well, but everyone else will only see it as the regular cactus.
seen how it's done, I'll run through the process a little quicker with the MSK file. Remember, the MSK textures are only two tone, so it will look a lot different to the cactus example. So using Unity EX, we load and select the files you want, if you haven't already. In the Unity Assets folder that creates, we make our way to the Res Shared Assets Zero folder and open the DDS file we want. After adding the 2FA Gaming logo in Photoshop, I check the layout in Blender and adjust until I get it right, or close enough for this example. Then we save over the original file in the res folder, go back to Unity EX, click import and you're done. Easy right? Well, you'll get more confident with practice. Feel free to comment with any questions and have fun making your own customs. If you follow 2FA Gaming YT on Facebook, you're welcome to post what you make. If you like the look of my skeleton T-Rex, I'll be giving away copies of its texture image exclusively to subscribers once I reach 100 subs on YouTube. So share this video with your friends and invite them to follow me to see more customs and mods in the future. Thanks for watching.